Well, the Western Cape High Court found that EFF leader Julius Malema's remarks against Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa is unparliamentary. The EFF leader was removed from the House last year for calling Ramaphosa a murderer. Malema originally wanted the decision of Parliament to remove him for his conduct to be overturned by the court. The court, however, ruled that the presiding officer acted reasonably and concurred with Parliament. Malema was suspended for five days by Parliament for refusing to withdraw the remarks. We are confident that uh, this particular ruling will go a long way in terms of ensuring that the doctrine of the House is upheld, in ensuring that the rules of uh, the Assembly are respected, in ensuring that uh, the members of Parliament engage each other politically and robustly without name-calling, without uh, being disruptive uh, of the business of the House or without the even uh, making spurious and malicious and uh, defamatory allegations uh, that uh, only serves to tarnish uh, the name, the good name of uh, fellow members of parliament. Well, the deputy president has noted and welcomed the Western Cape High Court's decision on the matter between the EFF and the Speaker of the National Assembly handed down yesterday. It is a matter that, that arose in the, in the context of a court case between the EFF, and the Speaker of National Assembly. Of course, it related to comments that have been directed at the person of the deputy president. And in that context, the court has said that uh, the language used there was unparliamentary and it cannot fit into a free, freedom, cannot be characterized as freedom of speech.